What's up, everybody? Mike Dolce here on the Mike Dolce Show. And today, I'm calling out Sean Baker for calling me out, for calling him out. Jeez, what's going on here? Really, really, it gets confusing. So let me break it down for you. Recently, Sean took to his social network to call me out for a statement I allegedly made. And that's problem number one, because what he said I said I did not in fact say. So first, let's go and listen to Sean actually call me out. We've got Mike Dulce. Mike Dulce is a, I guess, a fitness trainer. He trains a lot of MMA guys. He's, you know, we'll get you shredded, get you that six pack, right? So he's called me out for, apparently, well, you know, he's our carbon is idiotic. He said that for a while. Maybe he's coming around to see people. He's calling me out for not telling people to go hunt and hunt their own food. Now, Sean, I'm not mad at you because you don't hunt. I don't hunt. I'm not yet proficient with a rifle or a bow to actually take a shot at an animal. That being said, I do fish, and I fish a ton, and I fish often. I also have a network of hunters that we trade back and forth and we gift each other. Maybe it's, it's, it's one of their, you know, they go on a deer hunt. They go on an elk hunt. They, they go on a hog hunt. Uh, they go on a duck hunt. They gift some of that meat to me. And when the tuna are running, I'm out there two, three days on the Atlantic Ocean, I'll gift them a few pounds or a few dozen pounds of some wild-caught tuna really nice relationship we have but not everybody has access to that but at the same time i aspire to create those connections and build a network that can get my family and i as much wild caught game as possible this is my contention with you sean this is the problem and this is what i had said that was taken out of context what i had said was sean baker is popularizing fast food restaurants in the realm of being healthy. When it's not healthy, there's no way in and out conventionally raised burger patties with processed American cheese minus the bun, minus the tomato, minus the lettuce is healthy for us. There's no way any person of intelligence can say a conventionally raised antibiotic flooded, growth hormone poisoned piece of beef is healthy, specifically when slathered with highly processed American cheese. That is not healthier than a handful of blueberries, than tablespoons of hemp seeds, than slices of avocado. It's not healthier. You know it's not healthier. My problem with you, Sean, is that all over your social media, you make it seem cool and manly to go to these burger restaurants and eat four and eight burger patties, which are of the lowest quality of foods in the country. And that's saying a lot. You're telling your community that it's okay to go to fast food restaurants, peel off the bun, peel off the tomato, peel off the lettuce, eat the burger slathered with processed American cheese. American cheese is not even cheese. It's not even cheese. American cheese is a highly processed cheese-like product. That is a fact. Now, Sean, you also make the claim that the, the whatever the vegan burger, the, the Beyond Burger, I think it is, that you would never eat that because it's processed food. The Beyond Burger. We're not going to eat your processed food anymore. You know what you can do with this crap? But at the same time, you're telling your community it's okay for them to go and eat heavily processed foods. This is what I don't understand, and this is my criticism of you. I'm not mad at you. I think you're probably a good guy. I think your heart's in the right place. But at the same time, the information is flawed, critically flawed, and that's why someone like myself, who does not believe what you are saying is accurate, I do speak openly on my own thoughts. Now, I'll go a little bit further and say, I think the vegans are just as crazy as the carnivores. Now, vegetarians and pescatarians and, and, and the lacto avotarians, all of them, they're omnivores because they eat partial animal products. They allow for partial animal products. They fall under the omnivoric banner. 
What you're saying, Sean, makes no sense to me, and I'd love some clarity here. Why is it okay to eat conventionally raised beef that comes from conventionally reared cows that have been fed corn, that have been fed soy, which you say turns humans into soy boys, and you make fun of it constantly. Humans can eat soy, and I agree with that to a degree. I'm not a big soy fan, a couple, little bit of edamame here and there maybe, but humans shouldn't eat that, you say. But the cattle that provides the beef eats it constantly. They eat corn constantly. They're grain fed. Even though they say grass fed, grain finished, we know what BS that is. You know what BS that is. Additionally, all the antibiotics that are being pumped into the healthy animals as a preventative to make sure they don't get sick so they go to slaughter and they can make that money, right? So these animals are being force-fed antibiotics that they do not need, which the CDC has now said is one of the top health concerns facing the planet, mostly as a result of the food we're consuming being contaminated with antibiotics for purposes of production. Now, I think you know that. I think you understand that. And if not, it makes more sense that maybe you weren't aware of that. But that's why I speak so passionately on the topic as I am right now. We can also talk about the heavily processed cheeses. I think I've mentioned that, which American cheese is not even cheese. It's not even real cheese. It's over 50% processed material, right? It's not even real cheese. That's why it's called American cheese. It's not even real cheese. It's a cheese-like product. But you're saying, hey, guys, it's okay to go out and eat that. So, Sean, this is my problem. It's not that you don't hunt. It's because you're telling your community it's okay, and further than it's okay, it's cool, it's sexy, it's manly to go out and eat 16 of the most disgusting burger patties in the country, slathered with the processed cheese. That makes no sense to me, and I would love an explanation. I would love to understand why it's okay to go to fast food restaurants and eat this low-quality meat and processed cheese, that's okay, but somehow a handful of blueberries is bad for me. Some, somehow hemp seeds are bad for me. I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna get into um, quinoa or, or sweet potatoes or, or Brussels sprouts and, and red peppers and onions or go down the list, jalapenos. Like, I'm not even gonna start touching on those micronutrient, phytonutrient-dense foods that really, they have no negative outcome. No negative outcome, especially when compared to conventionally raised beef and processed cheeses. So, Sean, that's my issue. I'm not mad at you. And I wasn't criticizing you as a person. It's just the information you put out. I don't understand it. And we as health professionals, those of us who have platforms, we're under a different level of scrutiny. And with this scrutiny comes great responsibility. So if you are going to be the, the, the tribe leader of the carnivore community, as I believe you aspire to be, then to insulate yourself from criticism of very, I think, enlightened people like me, because the vegans are crazy, but you know the carnivores are crazy, and an omnivoric meal plan is by far, by overwhelming scientific evidence, an omnivoric meal plan is by far the most suitable meal plan for the human species. And I think you agree with that also. So that being said, I don't really get the whole carnivore thing. I don't really get the whole vegan thing for sure, but I definitely don't get the highly processed food being a part of what is supposed to be a healthy diet. That's where I have to take a hard right turn and step away from the conversation and step away from my support as being a meat eater also, right? I am a meat eater. I eat meat daily. I eat eggs, I eat, eat steaks, I eat chicken, I eat turkey. I mean, we've got a 26-pound turkey waiting to cook up for Thanksgiving tomorrow. It's about to go in the oven, right? But at the same time, the whole concept of, of, of apples being bad and blueberries being bad as compared to processed cheese 
and highly processed beef, it just doesn't make sense. So those listening to this video, thank you for staying this long. Leave any comments below. Um, what are your thoughts? Be respectful, right? This is not a drama. I think Sean and I are probably cool. We'd probably hang out and, and have a coffee and go deadlift together. I think we would have a, a good time. So I'm not mad at Sean by any stretch of the imagination. I just really disagree. And I would love to see a much higher level of quality education being put into the public sphere with regards to nutrition, especially if you're following more of a fringe ideology. I'd love to see it cleaned up. And I have the same issue with the vegans. I've been very vocal about that also. And, and maybe if any of the vegans call me out and then I can go and have a conversation with them. And the whole Beyond Burger thing, I think that's that's just as ridiculous as an In-N-Out Burger with processed American cheese. Neither makes sense to me. So thank you guys for being here. Subscribe to this channel. Bang, bang, bang. Leave a thumbs up and leave your comments below. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Until next time, boom.